how to increase the fan speed on the Madoka Assistant. Now I'm going to turn the unit on. The fan is currently set at speed number 3 and the unit in this example is FXSQ80. Now this unit can do 380 liters a second at maximum 150 pascals. Now that is the default. But let's assume that this is just not enough in our particular case and I'm going to show you how to make it work. So you go to the settings, you need to scroll to field settings. Now you need to go to mode 23 on the indoor unit. So go to indoor unit first and go to mode 23. In mode 23 there are two things you can change. So let's start from number one high air outlet velocity. If you go here you have a selection of three. Number one is the default, number two is slightly higher and number three is the highest. So I'm going to turn that on and you're going to see on the screen what's happening with the pressure and with the sound. Once you select it you need to apply this, so press apply apply to remote controller and apply. You can hear the fan already is slightly louder. Now let's assume that this is still not enough and this is where the real magic happens. If you go back to indoor unit mode 23 but now you go to number 6. Now the number 6 will increase the static pressure that unit can work with. And you can go as far as number 15. If we select number 15 you will see that the static pressure will jump almost twice as much as the default. So click on that, apply apply to remote controller, apply. Nearly 300 pascals it can work with. Obviously it's going to be much louder but it will do the job in terms of cooling performance or heating. And that's it. I hope you found it useful. My name is Marek Pocontek from MTP Cooling. Thank you for watching.